Okay, so I wanted to make a specific video uh, about the Light Expo Lens treatments. Um, hopefully you've gotten my other post-op videos where I go over some of the instructions with the eye drops and the fun glasses you guys get to wear. Um, just to recap cap that a little bit, and you'll have your one-day post-op visits, but then you should also have an additional one to two week post-op visit after both eyes are done. And that'll either be with your surgeon or your referring optometrist. And that's basically a visit just to check to see where the lenses are stabilizing to to serve as a baseline for when you come here for the actual treatments. Uh, during that period, it's pretty normal to be blurred. In fact, I intentionally missed my targets out the gate to give some nice features with this lens. And so don't, don't be alarmed by any of that. Um, when you come in for that three week post-op visit, Dr. Stone will have sort of our notes handy with the you know, direction of the light treatments are. Um, and then you know, I, I thought it'd be nice to bring him in here to go over what that experience looks like on that actual visit. Yeah, that's all we want to cover today really is mainly on kind of what y'all need to expect coming into it. So um, at this point, it's already been the three weeks. Um, what we'll do is you'll come in, you'll get a good refraction. That's the better one, better two test. Um, we'll see kind of where your numbers are at. Okay, then we'll have a conversation as far as how's it been going? You've been walking around for three weeks. How's the distance? Um, how's your reading? You know, if, if y'all kind of came up with this little bit of a, a little bit of a mini mono or an offset, uh, we can talk about, do you like it? Um, and then we'll kind of just make sure, okay, cool. We both agree on the target. Um, and then we can kind of move forward. You'll be dilated every time you come in for these post-op visits, uh, you will be uh, expect to be dilated on those days. We got to be able to see the entire lens uh, that's in your eye so that we can know where the center of the lens is so we know where to focus the light. Um, I guess another thing, go back on the refraction, you know, we get that one week refraction so that whenever I do my refraction at the three week mark, I just got to make sure you're stable. Okay. We're not going to start this whole process until we know that the lens is stable, that the prescription is stable. I'm not going to try and hit a moving target per se. Um, so that's why it's so important to get that one week refraction. Uh, these appointments tend to take a little bit of time. I expect to be for typically about two hours. Um, it's kind of what I would recommend or kind of, you know, have y'all expect. Um, I spend the same amount of time with you as I do with the next person as I do with the next person. Um, and as a lot of it, it's just a lot about talking and figuring out what you like and what you don't like and uh, kind of making sure our targets are good. Um, so it's just a little bit of a process. Yeah, to me, this is the, the whole value proposition of this lens is you know, the sort of figuring out of what ultimately suits you best. Uh, but there's, uh, you know, there, there's a time for being needed for that piece. And so you know, I, I think Dr. Stone does a really good job, in fact, sort of making sure we're getting the right treatments in place. Because when I talk to my peers about the outcomes they're getting, it just seems like consistently we're getting better outcomes. But I think a lot of it has to do with the approach we take on these visits here. Um, what I mean by that is you know, there might be a visit where your eyes are really dry and we're not getting clean numbers to put in the system. Well, Dr. Stone won't just push a treatment on you for the sake of just doing the treatment because that'll lead to a suboptimal outcome. So, you know, we, we like to take our time with the whole process because ultimately that, that serves you the best in the end. But unfortunately, that does mean that there's a sort of a time commitment when you're here and, and really for the whole process. Uh, but once we get good numbers, yeah, then we put them in the lenses and then ultimately we lock it in. Which yeah, different experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, going back to that, you know, when we get that first adjustment done, expect to have typically, I'm going to say at least two adjustments. It's great if we hit it right out the gates and on our first try, we just nail it, right? You come back, you're super happy. Sure, we can technically start the lock in process. Um, typically, I would say probably two adjustments, sometimes three adjustments before we start the lock in. Lock in is going to be two lock ins. So, same process, you still get the refraction, you go through the dilation process, um, except for it's just a little bit brighter light, okay? Uh, first one's 90 seconds, second one's 125 seconds, but um, you know, just bigger, brighter light, okay? Those are usually kind of more you know, difficult treatments to kind of sit through, it's pretty bright. Um, the other, the adjustments are um, you know, really no big deal. Um, I, I haven't had anyone complain about having an adjustment done. Um, Part of the adjustment process, we do use um, this little lens here. We put some gel in it. We do physically put it onto the eye. Your eye is um, numb, but yes. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't feel it. Um, but we do put it on the eye. It's gonna help focus the light and where the light's going. Um, it's also gonna help hold uh, the eyelid open. Um, but I just don't want you to get kind of caught off guard. I start coming at you with the lens, you know, while you're here, that's what we use it for. Anything else add that? No, I think that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys find these videos helpful and we'll be seeing you guys soon. Perfect.